And I remember like going away and writing this poem about how it was the worst thing that could happen. I went to my mom and I was like, mom, the worst things happened. The worst thing that could possibly happen. She was like, why what's happening? I was like, I started my period. <laughs> she was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. She was like, congratulations, like welcome to the club. She was like, this is the beginning of womanhood. And I remember being like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And I remember like going away and writing this poem about how it was the worst thing that could happen. I went to a girl's school, which was quite fortunate because our, you know, we had had um, lessons where we were told that you know you might get your period this year next year at some time this these are the kind of changes you'll have in your body um, one of our teachers was absolutely brilliant she told us you know keep it emergency kit in your bag if you need to change at school um, so it was really good but there was no mention of a menstrual cup I do remember quite clearly when my periods first started um, when I was a teenager and being really excited about the prospect a lot of my friends had already started and it was really exciting and then it happened and then it was suddenly oh yeah and it's a bit messy and a bit difficult and and then it dawned on me that it was going to carry on every month for a long long time um, and I wasn't quite so excited. I suppose I think I told my mum on my period she was like okay that's fine Sarah just towel here you go and this will happen it might hurt a little bit um, and that's about it and I think we just there wasn't really anything to talk about. It was just a normal thing that happened. And then we had the chat about, um, you know, what you do when you're on your period and if there's something religious going on. Um, and that's about it, you just kind of get on with life. And my mum said, is there something that you want to tell me? You know, has something happened? Um, and I was really, really embarrassed um, about it, but she was really good um, and really helpful. But in terms of what options I was told to use. Um, my mum used Lillettes so she handed me a box of non-applicator Lillettes and said right just go in there and because I had an ensuite like go in your ensuite right and just get on with it just up. <laughs> I was on holiday with my dad but at least my sister was there so she kind of showed me what a pad was and everything and I think the worst thing was not being able to swim for the whole holiday in France in the summer um, so I think growing up, it's been hard to adapt to the fact that you're gonna have to deal with it every month. I think it took me like half an hour in there and at some point, you know, past the pot of Vaseline came through the door. It was just like, just do it, just do it. And because I'd never done anything like that before in my life, it was really, really traumatic. So it was from like hiding it and going into school and like going into the bathrooms and putting loo roll there, I just didn't know what was happening. And then going home and then having the whole lilette, you know, or the, non-applicated tampon at the, yeah. It was a nightmare. Um, when I first got my period, I was quite excited. Um, and I ran to my mum and told her and we ended up celebrating. And I was quite excited because I was one of the first of my friends. As it carried on, uh, the excitement died because it became quite an uncomfortable experience. I wouldn't say necessarily deep dread, but whenever it came, it was, inconvenient, problematic. I didn't normally enjoy that part of the month very much. I wish that when I was younger, I had the information I have about period health and about period products. I wish we had all of that information, that access at that point, because um, I think it's really important for young people to have options. And I wish that I'd been like, oh yeah, this is my moon cup. <laughs>